Hey, Earl, I just wanted to first check in and see how Makai is doing. I know he hit the floor, diving for that loose ball. Uh, what's his status? I mean, he went in the locker room, they looked at him, he came back. I think he just hit the floor pretty hard. Um, they didn't really give me anything, but he just, you know, he came back. I think he had a hard a landing on the floor. Um, so I don't really have any more details other than that, but he did come back out. I just opted not to put him in the game the way the game was going. Uh, I felt like just get the young guys a few minutes. All right, Dan. Coach, I, I know the the commitment on the on just on the defensive end, the, the points for Wake Forest weren't uh, weren't where you wanted them to be, uh, or where you stated that you wanted them to be. But how much of that is you know can be stopped with a few more shots or a few more buckets on your end, and then turn that into defensive stops on the other end, or how much of that was them just being able to get out and, and get some buckets on you? I mean, I think it's a combination of things. Uh, you know, again, we're still in the same place. We we still got a team that's trying to figure out how to win. And I think that, the, you know, mental is, is the four, as physical as the one. I thought that was mental. It was a mental, you know, we played 36 hours ago. We played great. We played hard. And you got to get back up and do it again. And I thought mentally, you know, obviously, uh, we just didn't have the juice we needed, you know, on both ends of the floor. Um, I think that a big thing was, you know, early in the game, we missed a lot of shots. So we had opportunities to stick in the basket early, uh, right at the rim when we missed them. And against a team like this, we have to capitalize on them opportunities because they've proven they can score. You know, pretty much every night they got 80 points. You know, they had 90 the other night. So they've proven they can score. So when you have opportunities to score, you have to keep it uh, even. But when we weren't scoring, I thought it affected our defense. And we, we didn't bring the energy and, and, and the intensity we needed to stop them. Back to you, Andy. Yeah, similar to the Louisville game, when you guys have trouble finishing at the rim, is that just a matter of execution, or how do you approach that going forward? They just got to keep working on it. I mean, you know, I thought I thought the fact that we were at the rim, you know, meant, meant that we, you know, did a pretty decent job of getting to that spot. So uh, I think just got to keep working at it. Maybe their length bothered us uh, some. Uh, they traditionally haven't blocked a lot of shots, but maybe their length bothered us. But you know, we just had opportunities and, and we, you know, we got good players, we got a good team. Uh, we just didn't capitalize and, you know, Wake really played well. And so uh, we got to watch the film, learn from it, you know, and continue to try to grow because, you know, again, we're still in the same place we were a month ago. We're trying to learn how to win. We're trying to learn how to, you know, be consistent. We're trying to learn how to have winning habits and, you know, and it's, it's a process. Andy? Almost similar to you guys, a lot of transfers on that Wake roster. Uh, Steve Forbes putting everyone together. What was your outlook on, on this team and how hard they are to defend with just how many weapons they have? Yeah, they're old. They're really old. Uh, you know, Steve is a good coach. I've known him for a long time. So he's, he really put together a good roster with uh, a bunch of fifth-year seniors, guys that have been in college for four years. Um, so, you know, he's, he's done a good job with that. But, you know, I think they may have the player of the year in Williams. William Adonis, um, you know, so uh, he has done a good job. He's done a really good job. And certainly, you know, it's one of the better teams we've played so far this year. Dan? Uh, Coach, just where you have the, the, the turnover and dates, I know you said uh, Virginia Tech was Saturday and then you come out today and you have next game on Wednesday. Um, is the focus to just review the film and, and move on and, and go into physical recovery to get ready? Or, you know, how much preparation can you do with only the, the one day off, like to – to get ready for that next to the team and, and, and get advanced in? Yeah, I mean, it's a quick turnaround. So, I mean, we got to learn from this game, you know, so it'd be hard not to take out some film clips and learn from this game, what happened to us. What happened when we, you know, executed and trusted our offense, which we did a better job in the second half. We got good shots uh, versus, you know, when we don't, you know, and, and, and we got not as good a shot in the first half, you know, and so, so we got to learn from it. You know, we got to watch the film and, and be honest with each other. And then we got to move on. But uh, we have played North Carolina before, our next opponent. Uh, so that helps, you know, but we do need to try to prep as much as we can in a quick turnaround.